Hello, my name is Thomas, and this is Matthew, our driver. Uh, we're from Team 16460, the Gearheads, and we'll be presenting our arm and grabber mechanism. Uh, we're no longer using servos to uh, manipulate the arm and help grab the cones, and now uh, we're using a double linkage, and we're using two motors to drive up the arm and a grabber arm at, at the end to, uh, to grab the cones, and this, is, this allows us to uh, get the cones up to three separate heights, one for the low height, one to the medium height, and one to the high pull height. And we can also get the cones onto the uh, uh, little bases if we want to. First updates now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. SolidWorks is free for first teams. Over 80% of U.S. engineering schools and 370,000 plus companies use SolidWorks to design great products. SolidWorks can help you design a great robot on desktop or on the cloud. Go to SolidWorks.com slash first to register your team. First alumni and mentors are making Stryker a top priority for their internships and careers. That's because Stryker knows that those in first are the leaders and innovators of tomorrow. If you want to help make the world a better place by creating life-saving medical devices and technology, get started at careers.stryker.com. Uh, this, this new double linkage of the arm, it gives us a lot of extra support, so we don't have to worry about it wobbling back and forth as much, unlike last time. And we can place the cones faster because of that because we, uh, we don't have to wait for it to slow down first. As you can see, the robot lifts, lifts the cone right up and it's immediately stable. Uh, another main sort of factor with their robot that sort of support it is the chassis underneath it that supports the claw and the, and the arm. Uh, we had to make sure that it was pretty wide and so that and also so that we could go close to the poles as well once the arm was up so that we could place the cones down onto the poles without any interference. What Matthew's going to do now is he's going to bring a cone up to the highest level and now we can move around and as you can see it's much more stable than before and the cone's not slipping around in there. Oh. The, arm is the arm is much more stable and it doesn't shake around as much, so we can place the cones a lot faster if we need to. Uh, as, as you can see, the arm is quickly stabilizing, and it's not going anywhere, and the cone's not slipping away from the grass. And one final part of our main robot design is by using special gearing linkages. We made it so that the, the, the claw of the robot, it's always horizontal no matter where it is, and there's no servo or special program required to do this. So it's very simple and it's a very and it's a very effective way to stabilize where the cone is and to keep it on course for where the cone's gonna go. Thanks for watching and check out our other videos on Fun's YouTube channel. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. First alumni and mentors are making Stryker a top priority for their internships and careers. That's because Stryker knows that those in first are the leaders and innovators of tomorrow. If you want to help make the world a better place by creating life-saving medical devices and technology, get started at careers.stryker.com. SolidWorks is free for first teams. Over 80% of U.S. engineering schools and 370,000 plus companies use SolidWorks to design great products. SolidWorks can help you design a great robot on desktop or on the cloud. Go to SolidWorks.com slash first to register your team. Special thanks to Team 8680, Cracking Pinion, for hosting Robot in 30 Hours and also to their sponsors.